Hey guys, uh, first of all, I want to just say, excuse the light because it might, you know, go in and out. That's just because it's been raining all day and, like, I don't know if my electricity is at its best right now. But anyways, so, um, I just took this hair off of a, uh, cap because this hair was installed as a quick weave. And this hair is, I don't even know the name of it. Um, as you guys see on the tracks, it still is glue residue on the, uh, width as well as some sort of glue residue filling on the um, hair itself. So, what I'm going to be doing to attempt to um, get the glue residue off, I'm going to be using, excuse me, I'm going to be using some rubbing alcohol, some um, nail polish remover, um, hydrogen peroxide, and extra virgin olive oil. Um, when I did my research, you really don't have to use the peroxide or the olive oil. Um, basically what they say what you should use is either the, the rubbing alcohol by itself or the nail polish remover by itself. And um, yeah, but I'm just gonna be using all these together just as an experiment. I also have an old toothbrush just to kind of like scrub, you know, the solution onto the uh, weft to sort of get the glue off. And I also have like this big plastic bowl. So. I'm not going to be able to show you guys how I'm pouring the stuff in there, but I'll show you when I have it in the bowl. I didn't put a lot of olive oil in there, as you can see. You can smell like some type of fume, but it isn't really strong or anything. But if you are sensitive to, you know, fumes or whatever, I suggest you do this in a well-ventilated room. But I'm about to just mix it together. This is what it's looking like. And I'm about to just start applying it to the webs now okay so i know you probably can't even see me but good because i'm not looking the best right now i'm just chilling and relaxing in my house and i really wasn't planning on making a video today but anyways um so i just got done with two tracks this is the first well two webs the first web that i did is right here um as you can see it's still some glue on there but most of it is off and that's how it's going to be i mean you can't get all of the glue off completely because some of the glue has you know seeped through the little hairs on the web so i mean it's not going to be 100 percent glueless but you could get you know some of that excess glue off um and also you can see some of the glue like little glue balls on the hair like, can you see that? It's like glue balls inside of the hair right there, right here. Um, all you have to do is comb them out and you can easily get them out like this. And, um, you know, after you get done with all the wefts, you can wash your hair. In. What I'm doing is just taking my toothbrush, dipping it into the solution like this, wringing it off, putting it on the track and just um, scraping it onto the weft like this and sort of bringing it up to um, the top to sort of get the glue off. You can also bring it out to the bottom. I think it'll be easier that way just so you could, um, like once it, get, once it gets on the hair, you just comb it out. So yeah, basically you just want to get the glue saturated with the solution and just brush it off, you know? It's very simple. You know, it kind of takes a while, but once you just get used to it, you it kind of go bye bye. It, it'll kind of go bye bye. What? It'll kind of go by faster. And it might seem like I'm being rough, but um, I'm not really. Just make sure you try not to get the hair tangled up, and not to be too rough to sort of mess up the um, like how the hair is on the weft. And another thing I wanted to say was if, you know, if you don't get all the glue off of the weft, it really isn't bad. You could just look at it as like a, um, like a weft sealant, I guess, because it really would prevent, um, shedding, but it's just the fact that, you know, it's sticky, so I guess that tacky feeling, and you really don't want that on your hair. Um, actually, I'm not installing this hair like a sewing. I'm going to be putting this on a wig cap, so I'm really not, you know, tripping about all that excess glue on the weft but I just don't want too much glue on the weft 
so when I put it on the cap, you know, it won't, you know, just cause problems. As you can see, so far I'm getting a lot of glue off. You can see the little glue balls. Yeah, I just wipe it on my face. Um, hold up, you can see the little glue balls. You see them? Huh, my goodness, it's so hard to record like this. Okay, like glue balls over there. You see them, I know you do. So, yeah, I'm just gonna keep on repeating this. I have like two bags of hair I have to do this to. Well, actually one more bag, including this one, so. Oh, it's gonna take me a while. But I'll come back in when I'm finished. I hate when I turn the camera off and forget to tell you guys something and have to come back on and say it. But anyways, I thought this would be important to say, so I just wanna add it in. Um, basically, you guys saw me, like, when I did a couple of whips, um, what I did was dip my toothbrush in the solution and scrub the, um, the whip right here. Um, but that sort of got a little time consuming, so I just ended up putting um, the whole, you know, whole whiff inside of the, um, solution, letting it sit, soak in there for a while, and, um, after that, taking it out and then scrubbing the, um, scrubbing the whiff, because that sort of made the, um, sort of made the glue looser faster, and it was easier for me to, um, take the glue off. Also, some of the whiffs, um, some of their, what? <laughs> some of the hair... Um, actually did have glue on it because um, like a while back I attempted to try to get the glue off and I put the hair in a pot of boiling water and it sort of melted the glue and made the glue slide down on the hair and made the hair sticky so I did not know how to get that off but this solution that I made it you know it got it off okay hey you guys um this is the next day what i did last night after i finished removing all of the excess glue off of the webs as you see it still is glue on the webs but it's not as much and it's like you know not really bad i don't know what this is this is like some some string or whatever this hair really does have some weird stuff in it like i found some plastic pieces like i don't know anyway so yeah so um basically what i did was wash the hair with the organics coconut water shampoo i don't have it in here with me but i showed you what it looks like before in one of my previous videos but it's just like the um clear shampoo from organics and um basically what i did was took like one of the tracks put the shampoo on it and then took my comb and comb the hair um just to remove excess glue that probably got on the hair or whatnot and it took most of it off it is still some little glue balls stuck in the hair but to remove those all i have to do um is blow dry my hair i blow dry this hair using a um like a brush or a comb sort of fine like sort of a fine tooth um comb over here is just still wet um i thought it was gonna air dry overnight but it's still wet like soaking wet um but yeah so i think i'm gonna just end up blow drying the hair later on and um showing you guys the results and yeah i don't know when i'm going to be actually making this hair into a wig because i don't have um i don't have a uh what you call that a closure and i don't want to make it into a u-part because i don't really know how to install those yet so um i have to figure out what closure i'm going to get and where i'm going to get it from but yeah um i don't think this hair is enough either i think i might need to buy an extra bundle but i won't know how full it is actually until i blow dry it so yeah 